Hello and welcome to the second workshop on closing the reality gap in sim to real transfer for robotics held together with RSS 2020. On behalf of my co-organizers, I'm welcoming you to this workshop and I'm looking forward to a great day full of controversial and insightful research discussions about this exciting topic. My name is Sebastian and together with my co-organizers, Costas Bakeris, Ankur Handa, Juan Camila Gamboa, Florian Golemo, and Melissa Mozifian, we will be guiding you through this virtual RSS workshop today. Before explaining a bit about the workshop program and the overall format, let me quickly introduce the topic of this workshop, Centurial Robotics. The goal of Centurial is to enable robots to learn skills in simulation and then apply these skills in the real robot system with no or little fine tuning required in the real world. So what does this usually look like? It begins with some sort of simulation, which can be a full-fledged physical simulator that simulates the entire behavior of the robotic system and its interaction with the environment. But it can also be other forms of simulations, such as photorealistic rendering or even simplified models of behavior. This simulation can then be used in different ways to generate behavior, for example, a policy. The behavior can be generated in different ways, either by training a machine learning model, using the simulator as a source for training data, or by uh, using the simulator as a backend or model, for example, to do planning. In any case, the goal is to take the skill or behavior synthesized or learned in the simulator and transfer it to the real robot with little effort. So that means with little amount of fine tuning or uh, other training needed in the real world. So why would be interested in Centurial? Well, if we were able to significantly reduce the need of our real world experimentation using simulation or by training our robots in simulation, this would have a tremendous impact on the way we could do robotics research. But there's the catch. We know that simulation and the real world do actually differ. There is a gap. And thanks to great effort by my co-organizers and myself, we managed to illustrate this gap problem with this highly complex visualization. Here it goes. So the question is, how large is this gap? Have we already closed it sufficiently or will be able to close it anytime soon or not at all? We hope we can find some answers to these questions during this workshop. After this general introduction, let me now tell you what the overall program is for this day. So we're gonna feature three types of events. The first type are going to be the debates. In each debate, four experts from the field are going to dispute a controversial statement related to Centurio. Note that we have pre-recorded these debates last week and you have different ways to watch them. Either you join the live replay sessions on Zoom, indicated at these times and also on our website, or you just click on the YouTube links, which are also available on our website and on the RSS Feedloop systems to watch the debates at any time convenient for you. However, please make sure to vote in our polls. For each debate, there will be two polls, one before and after, we would like to hear your opinion about the stated proposition in each debate. And we will use the results from these polls to later announce the winners of each debate. Secondly, there will be a contributed paper Q&A. So in this year, we got a large number of high quality submissions and we were able to accept 18 of these submissions at our workshop. We have clustered the submissions into three groups, each related to one of the debate topics. After each debate, there will be a live Q&A session on Zoom. We will first see short teaser videos by the authors, and then there will be time for you to ask questions to the authors. So please join these live Q&A sessions. Finally, there will be a closing panel. In this cloning panel, which will be live as well, similar to the contributed paper Q&A, we will invite all of our debate participants, first of all, to wrap up the workshop, 
and do a small retrospective about the debates and what we've heard. But we will also announce the winners of each debate using the results from the polls I mentioned earlier. <clears throat> so to summarize, how can you interact with us today? So first of all, for the debates, please participate in the polls. As I said, there will be two polls, one after before and one after the debate. And we critically rely on your uh, contributions to these polls to be able to determine the winners of each debate. Secondly, join the live Q&A sessions for the contributed papers. And third of all, please feel free to ask any questions using the RSS platform, that means FeedLoop. We will, we will be monitoring it throughout the day and try to get back to your questions and also uh, take some of the questions we hear and ask them to our panelists at the end in the workshop, uh, of the workshop at the, in the closing event. Okay, before I move over to actually showing the first debate, let me please uh, just give some kudos to um, the ICRA 2019 and 2020 workshop organizers who uh, organized a workshop about robotics debates at these, um, at these conferences. So uh, we enjoyed watching the, these work, the debates during this workshop so much, and we realized that it would be a great fit for our workshop topic. So just want to say big thanks to the ICRA debate workshop organizers for bringing this fantastic debate format into the world of robotics. And also a big thanks to Lee Clement, one of the organizers who gave us great advice on how we should go about organizing our debates and our workshop as well. So all that's left for me now is to say, enjoy RSS, have an exciting, entertaining, and insightful conference. And after a very short break, we're going to air the first debate. And the topic of this first debate will be why sim to real with the controversial proposition being disputed, investing into sim to real is a waste of time and money. So stay tuned.